Now to our continuing coverage of the coronavirus pandemic. This is the first full weekend of the state's extended 11 p.m. curfew. As the state's cautiously optimistic, case numbers will keep trending down. Many people are excited to stay out later. 2 News reporter Madeline Ashley is live in Dayton after speaking with people downtown. Adam, people I talked with told me they're ready to get out of the house and into the bars and restaurants. They say it's worth it, even if it's only for an extra hour. For many, this extra hour is a little taste of freedom. Uh, stay out later at the bars, more nightlife, more active, feel less guilty about staying out late. With curfew now 11 p.m., people are happy to see businesses profiting more. I mean, I'm a, I'm a resident and also a local business owner, so I, it affects me in the sense that I love to see, you know, other local businesses being able to uh, to, to grow and, and support their customers and serve their customers too. Restaurants like Wheat Penny Oven and Bar. At this point, anything we can do to drive additional revenues to, to our restaurants, to any independent restaurant, is really, is really helpful. Owner Liz Valenti says adding an extra hour of business doesn't mean less safety precautions. In the hospitality industry, people have extended contact with the public. And in order for us to keep safe for our staff as well for, as for our customers, the vaccine is going to be a crucial piece to this. Highlighting safety as a way to move through this pandemic. Businesses have been operating pretty responsibly and I'm, I'm glad that they're able to uh, let their patrons stay out here and dine a little bit longer. Governor DeWine has stated that if cases continue to drop, we could see curfew pushed to midnight and eventually lifted. In Dayton, Madeline Ashley, 5 on 2.